Hi there, I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Nash Rhodes, and thank you for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com, where we're going to keep you up to speed on what's happening in the tropics, where at the moment we only have one named storm that we're keeping tabs on, and that is Tropical Storm Melissa. Now, Melissa looks impressive on infrared satellite imagery, but notice the center of circulation is here, and most of that thunderstorm activity is on the eastern side of that circulation. This is a calling card for strong wind shear in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere that for now is keeping the storm a little bit more lopsided. The latest advisory has sustained winds of 50 miles per hour tagged with this storm, but the movement is awfully slow. West Northwest at just two miles per hour. There is a lot of uncertainty with the exact path this is going to take over the next few days because there are a lot of competing steering factors for this that could nudge it to the east, to the west. And uh, when you have something like this, that could mean a, a big change in impacts for these islands that this is going to get awfully close to in the days to come. Uh, because of that, hurricane watches and tropical storm watches are in effect for portions of Jamaica and Haiti, specifically Jamaica with just tropical storm watches. These are for winds in excess of 40 miles per hour as that system creeps closer to the north and west, uh, but there is a big discrepancy on where this storm would head next. Here's the latest forecast cone, and you get the idea what the Hurricane Center's thinking. In the short term, this is going to be under likely to the north, but then beyond that point, look at the very large, drawn, yellow shaded region there. That is where the center of this storm could be in about five days' time. Notice this goes all the way to Cuba, uh, down into the middle of the Caribbean. Also, latest update from the Hurricane Center, bringing this up to Category 3 status. That would be a major hurricane, and it's not surprising. The farther west that this travels, the more likely it would be entering into a more favorable environment for strengthening. We're talking warmer sea surface temperatures and very light to hardly any wind shear to hamper its development. Uh, the latest update from the Fox model does bring this up to the north, awfully close to Jamaica, even a bit farther north than some other forecast models do. Uh, but from this point onward, there are two different solutions. A few models bring this back to the north and east very quick. That would take it out of the Caribbean in about three to four days time, likely as a strengthening storm, but not quite as strong as it could get if it travels farther to the west. Very warm waters in the western Caribbean could strengthen this into a more powerful storm before it takes that curve back to the north and east. That would bring substantial impacts to Cuba if we were dealing with a more powerful hurricane here in Florida. The vast majority of these forecast models keep it well south of our state. We will watch it, but it's not something to stress about at this time. Forecast uncertainty is still very large, though, down in the Caribbean. These are two of our prominent models, the American and European Ensemble matter, members, a various solutions created by each of these models. And notice a few of them back to the north and east take that quick route out of the Caribbean. Most of them, though, late this morning have shifted farther to the west, and that would buy into the solution that would bring it into the western Caribbean. Either way, we will be monitoring all these trends day by day, as this is a very interesting scenario in the Caribbean. We'll keep you up to speed with new updates right here at MyFoxHurricane.com.